So hands up if you are someone who likes to smell good or likes other people who smell good. I can see lots of hands being risen up in the internet atmosphere or whatever you want to call it. But I'm someone who is kind of obsessed with things smelling nice. I think that's why I like candles and why I'm a bit of a freak in terms of getting things clean because I like everything to smell nice and same goes for me and same goes for kind of what I'd expect from like my partner and that kind of thing. I just like it when people smell nice. It just makes me happy. So I'm going to talk to you today about how to make sure you smell good all day long and I realise this is a really, really strange topic for a video but it's something that we all do and I don't think anyone ever really talks about it and doesn't give it kind of that much tension. And I'm someone who, um, my skin doesn't really like to have perfume on it and make it last and that kind of thing. So these are a couple of tips that I've used that I find really, really beneficial. And it's great for Valentine's Day as well because you know you always wanna smell sexy for your Valentine. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is where it all starts, which is having a shower. Obviously, we all have showers, and the more showers you have, the kind of cleaner you'll generally be. I always have a shower in the morning, and I usually have a shower or a bath in the evening, depending on how I feel. The shower in the morning is just a very, very quick, like two minute shower. And I don't wash my hair or anything, just kind of freshen up and I'm just used to it. So using a shower gel that's got a really nice fragrance in it is really important, and some of the ones that you can get smell nice but the smell doesn't stick and I hate that. I don't like it when you just kind of wash it away. I, I want to get out of the shower and still smell nice. So the ones I've got here are my top picks. The first one is my absolute favourite and this is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Wash. Now generally speaking I love all the Soap and Glory shower gels. I think they're all fantastic but this one especially smells like kind of sugary mojitos. It just smells gorgeous, it smells so good. And you get a huge amount, you get 500 mils, this will last you ages and it lathers up beautifully and it's just a really, really fantastic, fantastic shower gel and I love it, love soap and glory shower gels. Then I've got two here from The Body Shop that are really fantastic as well. The first one is the Strawberry Shower Gel and again, it's just a very kind of nice, pretty, girly scent and you can just kind of put it on a shower scrunchie, that's what I always do. What would you call them kind of, it's not a loofah, it's like a shower, a shower scrunchie. I can't think of any other way to describe it, but you put it on a shower scrunchie, make it really lather up and kind of apply it everywhere and it smells gorgeous. And then the other one, if you are a chocolate fan, this will be for you. This is the Body Shop Chocomania Shower Cream. Really, really lovely, it smells like kind of dark and rich chocolate. It's really, really good and I really like that one. So they're my kind of top picks for shower gel. Now once you've gotten out of the shower, it's time to then kind of start using deodorant. And don't worry, I'm not gonna get into detail about sweat and that kind of thing here, because let's face it, that's not very nice. But um, some people are sweatier than others. And I think women tend to kind of be a bit sweatier than men, which is kind of a bit of a myth. But for example, my boyfriend never sweats. He's just not a sweaty person. And he never smells of sweat, and he just always smells good. And I, on the other hand, I can like walk up the stairs and I'm like, I'm hot and I get out of the shower and I get dressed and I'm hot and I always feel like I'm hot and then I always feel like I feel like sweaty and I know that I haven't got a BO or anything but I just don't feel like it's very nice. So using deodorant is key and the first thing that's really, really important is to make sure you've got smooth underarms because I feel like deodorant really sticks to them a lot better. Obviously, if you like to kind of... Um, have hair under there then that's fine but if you want your deodorant to stick better kind of being clean shaven or waxed or whatever you want to call it under your arms does help the deodorant stay better. Then another tip I like is to use a little bit of men's deodorant first because I find they're a lot more effective at making you not sweat and this is a lovely one this is the Nivea Sensitive Protect for Men. Just quick spritz of this will make you feel dry and nice and then you can go ahead and apply your usual girly deodorant to smell good but this does help to really really protect you. So from next I'm going to move on to body lotions and they again are a great way to make you smell good so you can just kind of use your everyday moisturizer but in the morning I like to just use one that's got a really nice scent and it kind of really gives you a boost and makes you feel really happy and like you smell good. So the one I've been using lately is the Soap and Glory Butter Yourself Moisture Lotion. Really nice. It's just got a kind of it's got an unusual smell. I will admit this isn't my favourite Soap and Glory scent. I do like the Sugar Crush and the Butter Yourself scent better. Um, no this is the Butter Yourself. I like the Righteous Butter. Sorry that's what I meant. 
scent a little bit better but this does smell very fresh and it's nice and it just makes you feel kind of like you've made a little bit more effort just by having something that smells nice and it takes you the same amount of time to apply as your usual kind of unscented body lotion then as i said the righteous butterfly soap and glory i've nearly finished this because i love it so much it just smells really sweet and girly and every time i put this on i just feel really nice it makes you just feel kind of pampered and lovely and then i've got two other body butters that i love 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 the scent of i'd use these at night to be honest because they are more buttery and not as easy to apply the first one is the nippers and fab pistachio sunday this is just this kind of green body butter that smells like pistachios. It's an acquired scent. I can see how not everyone would love it, but I really like it. And then the Body Shop Honey Mania body butter, which looks like this. And this has got a very kind of nice, fresh scent. I actually really like all the honey collection from the Body Shop because it doesn't smell too sweet. It's got a very kind of nice, fresh, almost floral scent to it, but really lovely. And again, you can put this on and you know that you smell good and it's just another and layer then, of last scent. but not least, I have a bunch of perfumes because how could we talk about smelling good without talking about fragrance? And I will admit, like I said, I'm not the type of person that fragrance kind of works that great on. It tends to evaporate very swiftly on me. So the three I've chosen to talk to you about here are ones that do last really well on me and that's saying something because not many fragrances do. However, post shower, I do like to kind of use a nice body mist sometimes. This is my favourite. It's the Body Shop Strawberries and Champagne one. I like, not the Body Shop, Victoria's Secret, sorry. I like all of these types of ones and you can just kind of spritz it all over yourself and you just feel really refreshed and lovely. So love that. And then in terms of fragrances, the first one is the original Kim Kardashian fragrance. This is kind of very floral, very heavy um, gardenia scent, but this lasts really well on me. It's great during the evening because it's very sexy and again, a great one for Valentine's Day. And then this is my new favorite. I've loved this for years and I recently got it. It's the Narciso Rodriguez for her. This lasts beautifully. It's very floral, very fresh, and again, a very, very sexy scent. And I find these types of scents just last longer on the skin. And how I apply them as well, this is kind of important. I do a spritz here, a spritz here, a spritz in the middle, and then I spritz one wrist and I spritz the other wrist. Don't do that and be tempted to do that because that doesn't actually do the perfume that good and it evaporates faster. I know it's kind of a habit, but it's not that great to do, so I kind of spritz one wrist and then do the other, let that dry, and then sometimes if I want to really smell nice, I'll kind of spray it in the air and kind of walk in it, but I don't tend to do that, mostly because perfumes are expensive. And then the last one that I feel like lasts really beautifully is the Jo Malone Lime, Mandarin and Basil. This lasts beautifully, again, a really different scent. This just smells so beautiful, and it's, <laughs> it's one of those scents that really brings back memories for me, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful fragrance that lasts lovely and every time you're wearing a scarf or a coat and you spritz this on you can then smell it in your scarf for ages and ages and I love that. So those are my top kind of tips and products for smelling great this Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed this video even though it was something a little bit different and let me know your top tips for making fragrance last all day long on you and walking around smelling like a complete goddess. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to give it a big big thumbs up and leave me any recommendations of your own in the comments down below.